y'all dealing with somebody here who this is an ex this is somebody you know I don't control the message I'm just telling you this person misses you like a bunch I can I just say this though I know this is weird and I don't even think I've ever said this on this channel but somebody could have been dealing with somebody who was like into some other stuff like illegal or the, the, J. Cole the neighbors is on if you know, you know. So the, somebody here, you could have been involved with this person because I feel like this person like had different people, right? Male or female. The tape will resonates lead with doesn't, okay? But I feel like this person had options, options galore. And they never thought you would find out they had options. For some of y'all, you were dealing with somebody who was in a long-term commitment, marriage, or, or baby's mother or baby's father or something. Because divorce is here. So specifically, I feel like for the majority of you guys, I'm talking to somebody here who's, who's, who is going through a divorce or they said they was going through a divorce. I don't know. Third party situation energy is out here. Somebody played games with your heart. They, this person never thought you would find out the truth. So somehow, some way, y'all found out the truth about this person. The, you know, when this person met you, they did not think they would fall in love. They were just like trying to have fun. Like... They were just like, I'm here for a long time. Uh, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah. You show this person unconditional love, Queen of Cups energy, King of Cups energy, and they now they cannot let you go. I can't let you go. You show this person so much unconditional love. I feel like you guys may have like there was some information like maybe you you got an inkling right because queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy queen of cups tends and the king of cups tends to be very uh you you intuitively know things or you're intuitive your your you know the way your gut feeling you felt something and you maybe you went digging or you went asking or you did some research on the back end or something or somebody says something to you you were like oh no this does not make sense to me let me double check this let me have my friend go be inspector gadget and like do facebook run a background like whatever it is i feel like something led you to go do some extra research and be in some page of swords energy you could be an air sign you don't have to be but like <sighs> What you found out, I feel like when this, for some of y'all, this person tried to explain themselves and give you a lie and baby, the lie was not giving, the lie was not giving, the lie did not make, make sense. The lie didn't make sense. For some of y'all, this person wanted you to continue to be in a third party situation and just told you, like I said, like they were getting a divorce. Anyway, now this person misses the hell out of you and they want to give you the world. They didn't expect to fall in love with you. Now this person, I feel like they're going to come back. Now they want to try to heal because they can't let you go. And now this person's like, damn. But here's the deal. For those of you who are dealing with somebody who truly is like still married or something, um, I feel like this is somebody here who makes up things in their head because of their insecurity so they're like oh i don't deserve this real love i don't deserve this true unconditional love that the divine masculine or the divine feminine gave me and so and this person also to that couple with their insecurities and them feeling on the inside this is their unconscious they don't know they're doing this and they don't know why by the way but like they lack the discipline to to either a be in this not to be in this eight of swords energy or and overthink stuff because of their insecurities or because they are like oh everybody cheats what i'm doing is no different from what everybody else is doing and no boo it's not that's not true because some about this situation doesn't make sense because relationships came out in reverse with service in reverse and it's just like i feel like this person feels like it, it, it's like they only get out of a relationship like what they can get they don't feel like real love exists or unconditional love exists because there's always been conditions placed on a situation or they've been used or they've been hurt. Like whatever that is, that's exactly what this it is. Anyway, so let's hop into the tarot and just see what else, you know what I'm saying? Because, um... I don't know if this person really is trying to heal right now. 
I think this person knows there's something wrong. Subconsciously, some things I think have come to the surface and they've been like, oh shit. They're realizing something. They're having some form of like, aha moment. This is like giving judgment energy. You could be dealing with a masculine Scorpio for some of y'all. I don't know where that came from. Let me turn this light up a little bit. Cause it's kind of fuzzy. Yeah. That's better. Can y'all see me? I love y'all. I miss y'all. I hope y'all are doing well today. Show me this person's energy that misses the collective. This person misses talking to you. Hold on. Drop the card. Ooh. Mm. Nine of Cups in reverse. Selfish energy. This person can be overindulging too. Yeah, this person was selfish because they they juggled you. Um, hello. Nine of Cups, two of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, not two of Pentacles in reverse. Shit, I don't know. Maybe they are about to drop something. Mm, could be dealing with an air sign with the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Let's see, though. I feel like this is somebody here who wasn't very dependable. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this person, is, yep, conflict over third party situation. Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. And then Three of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Somebody couldn't make up their mind. Oh, now they're single. They're, they are going to drop something. Not a, either this person played like they were single while they juggled, while they were in a commitment with somebody else with some form of contract or long-term commitment. Or possibly they could be getting single. We'll see. We'll see. They might really be getting a divorce or becoming single and dropping something here. Doesn't matter. I still see. Oh, hmm. okay. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. We'll see. Let's give it some time. Let's give it some time. Strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. We have all Pentacles and some Cups in reverse. So this person cares a lot about money. They care a lot about how something looks. They do. This is somebody here who cares about what some shit looks like on the outside. They're not, like I said, they didn't feel like before you, they didn't know real love existed. They didn't think a person like you existed, male or female, you know? They, they were just too busy focused on the outside, the 3D, you know? The material is the, is the 3D, by the way. Show me this person's energy as it pertains to the collective. Page of Cups, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Will you accept my apology? I just heard Pisces could be dealing with the... Oh, they want to talk. Eight of Wands just fell on the floor. Eight of Wands. So you're about to get a text message or a phone call. Hmm... Eight of Cups. Ooh. This is given since you walked away. Since you walked away. Or this is them calling to tell you I walked away from a third party situation. This is falling underneath the Three of Pentacles. I walked away from the person I was in this contract with. This person that I was trying to get a divorce from. Eight of Cups. Ooh, and I'm dropping the third party. The three of cups came out in reverse and I'm single and this is falling underneath the nine of pentacles. Okay. Mm, I still don't want to speak too soon. I don't know. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay. Let's just, let's give it some time. Let's see. Mm, devil energy and this came out crossing. Capricorn energy again. Okay. So it was hard for them to let go. It was, it's hard for them to let go of you. I already said, I can't, this person already said, I can't let the collective go. I love them, right? I feel like also, too, this is giving me the energy of this person. It was hard for them to let go of this third party or this third party may have put them through some shit or something of that matter. But the Ace of Cups is falling underneath the Ace of Pentacles here. Like, it is. So, the third party, whoever they let go of, this third third party situation was pretty toxic. There goes that page of swords. 
I feel like y'all really did some digging. Because whoever this player was, I'm telling you, look at all these burdens and this karma surrounding this person. King of Wands, this is the bottom of the deck. The King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Cups. This person knew how they showed up. This person knew, like I said, I feel like this person had hoes in different area codes. Male or female, doesn't matter, right? Like, I feel like this person definitely was a player. They had a ton of options. This person could be, like, really attractive. You know, they, they, they're thinking, like... Real love doesn't exist. I'm going to stay in this player energy. But there's a lot of burdens. They built up a lot of freaking karma. They built up a lot of freaking karma. Yeah, this ended Six of Pentacles, Death Card, and Two of Cups. You know what I just got? I haven't heard this song in a long time. Um, um, who's Jaheem and Keisha Cole, I think it is. I'm not wilding out like I used to. I don't do the things I used to do no more. I changed for you. I feel like this person's going to be like, I changed for you. But you didn't have anything to do with that. You didn't ask anybody to change at all. I feel like you're just low-key minding your business. Let's see what your energy is real quick. What's going on with the collective? Show me the collective's energy, please. Just the oh, ten of cups. Looks like y'all are doing good. Shit, this person could be watching you, being happy, spending time with your family, spending time with your kids, minding your own business. Show me the collective energy. Yeah, healing in your star energy. Hello, this is you. This is the person who's showing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to show y'all that card. I'm sorry, YouTube. Because, you know, you two be tripping because the people on these cards, is even though it's art, they still trip you guys. Ooh, show me the collective's energy. You're healing. You don't want any parts of this. You really are not even concerned about what this person has. What? Honey, you're spending time with your family, your kids, like I said, focusing on your money, focusing on your finances, focusing on you and yours. That's basically nine of cups on the bottom of the day. I feel like y'all are good. You could be an Aquarius or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here, but this is your energy here. So you are the Ten of Pentacles. Like, hello, it don't get any better than you. One more for the collective's energy, please. Like, this is good. Two of Swords, you are not trying to see or hear or nothing from this person. Mm. Yeah, you're not talking, High Priestess. What? High Priestess. I feel like you don't really have anything to say to this person. Mm. All right. Um... Let's see. LL Cool J Love You Better is playing. I'm going to love you better. Okay. Mm. This person said they're going to love you better this time around. But I don't. With the Two of Swords being here, you're not. I don't think. You're healing. Focusing on you, your money, your business, or your career, your, your kids, your family. You're not with it. What's this person's next move? What's this person's next move? Yeah, you're healing from them because they played a lot of games with you. Manipulative ass. What's this person's next move? Other than to watch you. Chariot, cancer, and child, they coming to get you, I feel like. The chariot and the ten of cups, they coming to get they coming to get you. I feel like they're coming to get you. I don't know. I They're manifesting you Gemini energy here with the magician. They might be ready to risk it all and come towards you. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. This person been doing some self-reflection. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This person has been sitting back like waiting, watching. Okay. This is good. Um... Somebody may have to catch a flight to come to you. I just heard somebody say take a flight. Um, what's this hermit energy about? The Queen of Cups. They thinking about you. I told you it was in that Queen of Cups energy. 
Honey, they thinking about this unconditional love that you gave them, whether you're a man or a woman. I changed for you. I'm a, I think I'm gonna, I feel like, I'm a, I think I'm gonna name this title, this video. I feel like when I saw relationships and service come out, I felt immediately like somebody just couldn't believe that somebody could just be so loving and so kind. I feel like you gave and gave and gave to this person um, just unconditionally, like with no restraint. And it's like, you can't be doing that to any and everybody out here collective. You know, you can't be doing that. You know, you can't be doing that. Now this person feels abandoned, left out on the cold. They feel like they missed the opportunity to use. They secretly home crying, thinking about all these secrets they hid. They're secretly emotional as fuck and feeling abandoned because they know what they did. Cancer energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. They know. And stressing too. What does this person want to say to the collective? Hmm. Behind closed doors, this person is stressing. I'll make it up to you if you let me. I promise you that I'm going to be better. Did I not say LL Cool J, I'm going to love you better? Thank you, spirit. Some of y'all dealing with Leo. Literally, literally, this says, I'll make it up to you if you let me. I promise you that I'm going to, to be better. Sometimes I think you can be a little controlling and that pushes me away. Uh-uh. No, that's them being manipulative. The devil is a lie. Mm-mm. The devil is a lie. Queen of Cups is not controlling. Mm-mm. You uncontrol you, if you're loving somebody unconditionally, you're not controlling. You may have challenged somebody to be better and do better, or you may have asked them for something that they'd never done before. See, the thing is, this person didn't know how to do it. They ne they just didn't know how to do it. So have a little more compassion for them doesn't mean take them back. It doesn't mean make excuses for them. But I've been depressed lately. Things have been really hard. And they have, because that's called karma. Because you know that that King of Wands we saw earlier with that Knight of Wands and that Ten of Wands, that's because you over there throwing around the wand like it don't mean nothing. Where's your self-respect? You, anybody can get it? If anybody can get it, then why do I want that? Hmm. What does this person want to say? Oh, they want to say I love you. Oh, wait, wait. It says, babe, I love you and I want to be with you. <laughs> Yo, boo say they love you and they want to be with you. I'm not making this up. I'm around here throwing that thing out in a circle for any and everybody. And then you want somebody to, I don't deserve you at all, like I said. Have a little more compassion for them because they didn't understand, they didn't know. This is reminding me like I'm doing some shadow work. <sighs> and in this book I was reading, I posted it on the community yesterday, I believe. And the quote was like, you know, shadow work is, wait, hold on. Let me read this. Cause that's what this situation is reminding me of low key, because it's like, Our instincts to um, collection. Uh oh, sorry y'all. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Well, I'm going to read it. It says, unless we do con conscious work on it, the shadow is almost always projected. That is, it is neatly laid on someone or something else so we do not have to take responsibility for it. I'm going to read that again. Unless we do conscious work on it, which is your shadow side, right? The shadow is almost always projected. That is, it is neatly laid on someone or something else so we do not have to take responsibility for it. Just period. Like this person, they didn't know. You know, child, I don't. You are my two of cups. You are my soulmate. So some of y'all, you know, this person feels like they're your, you, you know, well, we saw the two of cups anyways. This is hard for me. I'm struggling. Oh, oh, oh. This is hard for me. I am struggling. So, and they are. They damn sure about to lose their mind. Because, you know, 
you know, you know they always say to fuck around and find out. Like this person honestly really did fuck fuck around and find, they found out. But it's unfortunate, you know. But hopefully they learned a lesson and they healed, and they'll be better for somebody else. You know how sometimes you know y'all see those posts on social media when people are like. Oh, I was with him for so long, for this many years. I was with her for so many years. And then they went to the next person and then they immediately settled down. And I'm, I helped you out because I did all the work. And to some degree, it's kind of like, well, yeah, but no. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, maybe that person just met them where they were. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they met them where they were and where you are could be on a totally different vibration or level and, and that person could have exactly what they need or, or, or maybe this person really thought they healed and they got with somebody else and they really weren't as healed as they thought they were. So, uh, mm, let them have that karmic because whatever is for you is for you and whatever divine rejection is divine protection you know so they can have that mm. god bless them i love y'all have a great night or a great day until next time bye bye